Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome to a Padge Plays Retro Edition of the game Street Rod. Originally made by PZK Development and published by California Dreams for the Amiga Commodore 64 and this version MS DOS. Now, this is a replay officially of one of the very first pad plays I did back in 2016. It was around my birthday, I think, when I released this. And it's a game which I hold very close to my heart. Once upon a time, before I was able to buy magnificent components for my computer, I had a very, very terrible PC towards the end of the 1990s, start of the 2000s. And I, I couldn't actually run any of the newer games which I wanted to play. So rather than going out there and working hard and bringing home the dollar to be able to pay for the components to be able to build a decent computer i thought burger it let's go and have a look at what's been produced already old old games and i found a whole plethora of games under the and i say this in inverted commas abandonware category which uh, introduced me to a lot of games which i hold very fondly to my heart these days that came out terrible that you you know what i mean so you know let's get past this so <clears throat> This is a game which I originally bought as a, a Padge Plays, uh, just a Padge Plays edition. At that point, it wasn't broken up into different categories. And, well, over Christmas, as my channel's been growing, I noticed I got a copyright strike. Right, it's not a copyright strike. It's like the lesser version of a copyright strike. But ultimately, somebody was putting a monetized advert on my video because of me cutting in a tiny little song out of Greece. Now back in the day when I first started doing Padge plays, when I was a little bit wet behind the ears and I was full of enthusiasm, I thought stuff like that didn't really matter. I'd never get up to the point where I'm going to be copyright claimed because I'm just a little fish in a big pond. But hey ho, it's got to the point where I'm not even a big fish yet. But those money grabbing corporate bastards want a pound of flesh and they bloody took it off me and i was over christmas i was like you know what i'm not standing for this no 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 i'll just replay the game and leave out the music and it was only a tiny tiny section okay it was over the five seconds they allow but hey ho i wasn't like ripping off the song or anything i was talking over it very disappointed very disappointed but that's the game we play when it comes to youtube these days so here we are we are replaying this game however there is a thing which I have learned about this since playing it last time and uh, I think it's worth bringing to this video and it's basically how to cheat not for infinite money but to give you a jolly jolly good boost right at the starts and I think that will work well in this version because I'm sorry I've got to stop this I've got to turn this music off it's ridiculous um, I think this is going to work well in this version because it means that we can get in there and we can start playing around with the big components and the nicer cars straight away and fit it all into one episode as opposed to having to win races and work our way up to being able to show you the nice cars. I can just go, here we go. Let's go and have a crack at it and see what's going on. So this is how you do the cheat for Street Rod. I don't think I've seen anyone do this on YouTube yet. So this is how you cheat in Street Rod. You bring up your newspaper. You go to the used cars section. Now, there is one car and one car only you can buy in this little section, which, if dealt with accordingly, will give you a chance of, to sell it for whatever amount you want. They advise not asking for any more than 99,000, but even I, when trying to put in 50 odd thousand, noticed that it was only giving me a fifth of that. Now, whether that's the cut from the paper, taking their pound of flesh as well, I have no idea, but even so. I found that having around about $10,000 is enough to be able to mess about with one or two cars if you're unlucky enough to write them off. So, with all that being said, you need to find the 1949 Chevrolet two-door Styline Auto, basic transportation, 475, and click it. And with that, we will have a look. It's a blue one. I like the blue ones. That's fine. We'll buy it. Yeah, thank you. There we go. And in it rolls. Now, the things you need to do in order to be able to sell this for much more than what you bought it for is strip off the bumpers because everyone likes it when the bumpers are stripped off you need to flatten the roof and then get in the old engine bay take off that carburetor take off that very basic manifold 
disconnect the cable and the other bolt. Then you need to go to the transmission, undo that, and now you are ready to flog this for as much money as you can get away with. We then go up to the Chevrolet two door your car section and go to sell it. Now, as I said, in testing, I sold this for 50,000 and I got a much less amount. So let's say, for the sake of putting in a little bit more, $75,000. And you must be crazy. I'll take it. And as you can see, it maxes out at just under 10,000, which is fine because, as I said, plenty of money to be playing around with. Now, when I did do this the other day, I then thought, wow, I've got all this money. Let's find the most expensive car we can have, which I believe is the one I've just passed. There we go. It's the 1963 Corvette car of your dreams, racing transmission and carbs. Let's have a look at that bad boy. Oh, oh, it makes me wet. It makes me wet. But here's the thing. That machine you see there is the top of the line. You have to do absolutely nothing with this car in order to go out and race it, other than maybe mess with the engine a little. And honestly, that takes all the fun out of playing this game. So we're going to forget it. The, the, the reason why I enjoy this game so much and why I enjoyed it back in the day was the fact that you get to choose a, a knackered up motor. You manage to buy parts for it, do it up, mess with the engine a little, then go out and race it and play for pink slips, win other people's cars, bring them back, strip them down, sell the bits and vice versa until you work your way up to racing the king. Now, the thing I like about this cheat is it may give you a considerable amount of money to play with at the very start of the game, but that does not take away the fact that you need a decent bit of skill to be able to beat the king anyway. So you can, by all means, go and buy the 1963 Corvette. It doesn't mean you're going to beat the game in the first few goes. You also have to work on your rep. And the only way to work on your rep in order to meet the king initially is to win races, either for money, pink slips, or just for fun if you want to go about that way. So, as I said, it's more of a boost than it is an actual um, uh, cheat in a way, I suppose. And that's how I like to justify it anyway. So let's just pick one of the more interesting looking cars and then we'll, we'll go from there. So let's have a look around what we got. Wow. Now that is, now when I think American muscle car from the, from the 50s and 60s, that's what I envision, definitely. But no, 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 that's quite expensive. What's this one, 1940? Right, so that is the same. Slightly newer. Definitely a little bit, well, <laughs> pimped up. Roadster, I mean, it's got, it's, it's beautiful, but no, we can't. It's far too expensive. Uh, so there's all the Chevrolet. What's the, we're doing the star line. Uh, Bel Air Sport Coupe. Let's have a look at you. Again, very, very 50s. Uh, Impaler. Ooh. That's quite a long car. That's quite a long car. Um, not interested. Let's keep it. Let's say let's keep it like eight hundred dollars. What are you? Dodge Custom. Uh, no more there. Then we've got the Ford Fairline. Yeah. The Mercury Custom Two Door. Hmm. These are all definitely the sort of cars I'd expect to see. All the rest are actually quite expensive. Okay. Right. So. Let's go for the 1940 Chevrolet two-door coupe in the blue. Looking good. I'll buy it. So Chevrolet. Not a brand I am familiar with, being a Brit. Uh, we will take off the bumpers. And we'll chop that roof down. However, um, what is it? It is. Uh, those are my car parts. It is. Oh, it's, it's a GM still. Uh, it's the V8 engine, 283 cubic inches. Uh, um, this was a V6, sorry, but it, we need a G8. So let's uh, let's strip this out. We're going to sell all our parts in a second anyway. We want a, a nice racing transmission as well. And then we'll take this bad boy out on the streets and see what damage we can do. I've only just perfected the, the way of being able to win the road race with a manual motor usually i i would use the old automatic because you just hold down the forward button and off you go uh, but you do have to sort of temper the throttle a little when you play it 
properly and uh well it's it's hard it is hard uh three two seven is that the best one uh three two seven cubic inches i think it is so we'll take one of you uh, we don't want the auto transmission we want the gm racing transmission am i missing it auto transmission uh transmission four speed fits all uh racing four speed there we go that's what we wanted uh we want two racing carbs and we want the gm racing manifold awesome and then to finish this all off we need some slicks yes 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 you know what let's put the music back on there we go right let's work on this engine uh parts v8327 In it goes. Beautiful. Let's uh, let's do up that bolt. Put the cable back on. Then on the racing manifold. On you go. Now I'm hoping this means that we're going to get the uh, the carbs coming out the top because it does look pretty cool. But I don't know if that's just certain ones where you actually cut into the hood. But I guess we'll see in a second. Awesome. Now the other thing I've learned. Is all about tuning now before i only used to pull it onto the red mark which is like the sweet spot you can make it run lower or you can make it run higher now what i've learned is anything north of this makes it better for drag racing anything south of this makes it better for road racing so this one's built more for road racing than it is uh, for drag racing as it stands i'm going to leave it on the center because we're going to do a little bit of both um, I believe that if you have it on road racing, but you're doing drag, it can wear the engine out and vice versa. Uh, so it's a good thing to uh, prep it the way you want it if you're going to do it properly. But as I said, not too fussed right now. Racing four speed, on you go. Awesome. And ah, yes, the cars are sticking out the front. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, time to change the tyres. Jack that baby up. Oh, the tension's killing me. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I like the colour. I mean, we could change the colour. What other colours can we have? I mean, I like, I do like blue, but... Uh, green, light blue, red, grey, dark blue. Uh, light blue might be right. Oh. You know what? It makes it stand out. That's fine. And just to finish it all off, let's get an old sticker out. So we've got Hot Lips. Mm-hmm. Ranger. Not bulletproof. Hot Rod. I'm not a cop. Big Chief. Love Bandit. And I have no idea what that says. I'm trying to read it. I can't. Let's go Big Chief. Looks good. Uh, and now we need to go get some petrol. So, this game... The interesting thing about this game is it is actually freeware now and that's because back in 2014 uh, a company from the netherlands called mk consultancy actually bought the license for this and its sequel street rod 2. now the reason i'm holding on here is because that lazy bastard in the background will eventually get up and service our car so we'll just hold on a second come on then there we go he's working on it right so the other interesting thing about this is they actually released at the same time a Street Wad 1 Special Edition. And this came with uh, what was called the Car Data Disc, which is essentially, it's the same game, but it replaces the cars you see here with different cars of the same era. So if you just wanted to mix it up a little, you could very well go and do that. You know what? Let's go sell these parts. Sell, 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 sell. All parts gone. Right, let's take this bad boy out. So, again, it's just a way of being able to carry on playing the game you know and love and make it a little bit different. As I said, it doesn't change it too much, uh, but uh, the fact that you've got other... Oh, that's a nice car. Let's have a look under your hood. Hmm. What should we do with you? Let's, let's have a drag race. $50, straight up. 
Cool. He's up for it. Right. Here we go. Rev it up. Go! Get into him. Out of the way. Oh, I forgot to change gear. And this is where I tend to fail. <laughs> I always forget to change gear. I'm used to playing an auto. Thankfully, we only have to go in a straight line. So it doesn't matter if we max out the engine too much. You will hear it max out in a second. There we go. But it's the end of the race. So there we go. 50 smackers in my pocket. Bish bash bosh. Thank you very much. Please pay at the counter on your way out. Uh, who, oh, what have you got? Oh, look at that. It's puny. It's puny, I tell you. We, we, we can beat this. We can beat this. A valiant V100. To, oh. We can always call him back. That's fine. We don't we don't need to, to answer first time. Oh. An old 88 customized. 1952. Oh, he's off as well. All right. Didn't even give me a chance to click on him. So this game is set in 1963. And supposedly he's back again. We're fresh out of school. We're going to go for a road race, I think. Do I do pink slips? Let's do pink slips. This is where I die. <laughs> and we're fresh out of school. And essentially, we have the summer to make our name on the road racing circuit. Beat the king, steal his missus, and be the men or the man uh, who drives around before going back to school, supposedly. So it's not even like, you know, I'm going off to college or to work. This is this is it. This is this is what we're going to do with our summer. And supposedly we are known for our driving. Uh, but um, well, we'll soon see in a second when that comes up. Uh, now the thing I like about this game and the thing I I can find annoying is that when playing the road race specifically, it does change every time you start a new game. Uh, but that also means that. It is hard to memorize first time around and generally speaking you have to stay in the, oh, the middle of the screen in order to avoid issues like that barrier which came up then uh, because you just don't know where they are and uh, how much time you're going to get hey to react to it but once you have played that road you know that that's going to be the same for that one playthrough which is super duper so yeah, you get 12 weeks essentially, which seems like a very long summer holiday. In the UK, we get like six weeks. We get half that time, which I find ridiculous. Uh, right, why is that got a sticker on? Is that because we've got a sticker on now, so they all have that sticker? Because that, that doesn't suit it. Can I skip it? Can I take it off? Can I spray over it? I, th I think we need it a different colour. I mean, this is like a proper hot rod. Ah, oh, that's better. Can we chop the roof? Awesome. Uh, no bumpers to think of. Right, that's fine. So what's the engine like? What's the engine of this bad boy? Ford 351 cubic inches. Is that the big one? Is that the big engine? It is. And uh, is it worn out? No, the tyres are. It's only got a normal transmission and only normal carbs so uh, we need to replace those yes let's do that we'll take this bad boy out so uh duh, 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 duh. engine's all right we want the racing ford we want two more of those we want the ford racing manifold and uh, we want some racing slicks let's get working now every time you actually do any work to a car you actually advance the game along now i wasn't aware of this until I, again i looked deeper into it uh, but every time you do any sort of modifications to the car be it chopping the roof changing the tires changing the engine you actually lose x amount of days so you are restricted on time on how much you mess about with cars uh, to how much you are spending the time out there actually racing them so for instance um you know, we started on the 15th of June. We've only had two races and we're already on July. So, we, you know, we're running out of time. We're running out of time. And as I said, you need to make up your rep in order to be able to take on the king in the first place. I think winning a car, a road race and a drag race is probably good for our rep. I don't think there's any way of actually seeing... Oh, no, I should have kept that. Sorry, my bad. I don't think there's any way of actually seeing what your rep is other than just going out and seeing... Who wants to take you on? I believe 
the uh, the more races you win, the more that people want to take you on, and the the higher the risk they're willing to do it. Having someone race you for pink slips off the bat in such a nice car is interesting, shall we say? I've never been able to do that before, but then again, I've never had this amount of money and been able to mod a car like this from the off. But hey ho, there we go. So let's um, we'll have to change the transmission as well. But let's just tune this one. Uh, right, so this one's set to towards being a drag race, which is probably why he lost. Um, let's bring it down a little towards the roadway. It's not too much. I don't want to mess around with it too much, because I'd hate for the engine to blow up on this. Because it is a nice one. And let's bring out the racing transmission. Now, I wonder what sort of speed this is going to get up to now. 128 miles an hour? Sounds good. All right, let's uh, sell the old parts so we don't get them all mixed up. And let's go put some petal oil in it. Now, supposedly, and I don't know how true this is, you have to wait for the guy to wake up to fill up your car to help towards your street cred. I don't know how tr much how true that is. I'm not that first right now. Let's just, uh, you know, do it the old-fashioned way. Awesome. And, uh, well, let's take this guy out and uh, see how he gets on. Well, it accelerates pretty well. Cruising in town. Why do I like this game so much? Ooh, what do you got? A T-Bird. You know what? Let's go for your car. Let's go for your car. I think it's because I have a soft spot for Greece. And I also have a, a soft spot for... Wow. What? You just dropped your transmission? You lose? Take a walk, sucker? <sighs> wow. All right, we lost our first car. Best bring in the old reliable. How, how damaged is this? It's all right. 122? That, that's kind of gutted me a little. Uh, let's get some petrol. I've got a full tank. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, since I originally played this three years ago, I have seen American Graffiti. And I can kind of understand, back in the 50s and 60s, why street racing was such a big thing. It was, it was all built around the diner. That's where the kids hung out. Oh, that's a nice car. What are you? 1961 Corvette. Oh, he's off. All right. Um, I, boy, 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 I did know what I did wrong then. I'm not... Ooh. What's that? 1963 Corvette. That is actually like the Kings. Except the Kings is in black, I, I presume. I believe. I'm taking you on again. I'm taking you on again. Pink slips. Now, my issue was I didn't let up when changing gear. I, I, supposedly, I need to let up off the old... Uh, Oh, she's pushing me off. There we go. I've done it properly this time. Oh, we should have... Oh, actually, she's she's super quick. Are we going to gain on her or are we going to lose? This could be bad. So oh, this could be bad. Could be in the center now. This is taking an obscene amount of concentration by me. Oh, you what? <coughs> so I'm coughing up blood. She slammed her brakes on. That, oh. That harlot. That harlot. Uh, okay. Well, in which case, we're going to have to go buy another car, I guess. So we've done that one. Uh, Styline, we've done. Not really fussed about the, uh, the Corvettes. What do you look like? You know what? That's pretty cool. Let's go for that one. Chevrolet Impaler. So that's GM then, I presume. Yeah, so, so uh, let's go for... 
So is Ford the best engine? I suppose, it, in fact, I'm choosing probably the worst cars here. Uh, the Ford has the largest engine. Uh, but, hey-ho. Chrysler V8 engine. 340. 351. 327. I presume that's how it works. The, biggest, the bigger the cubic, cubic inches, the better the car. Or the better the engine, the, the bigger the size. But hey-ho. I've chosen it now, so let's carry on. Uh, racing, four speed GM, racing carb, racing carb, uh, GM racing manifold, racing slicks. Let's do this. Right, cut it. Bumper off. I'm going to leave the bumper on the front this time. I've learnt my lesson. We need something there to soften the blow of having someone slam their brakes on in front of me. Not a lesson I've learnt very well in real life. Uh, I've had a few bumps in my time, and they've always been going into the back of someone because they've slammed their brakes on for some reason or another. But the last time, that was a big one, and I've learnt my lesson since. I keep my distance now. Learnt the hard way. Alright, so let's get into this engine. I mean, it'd be nice to see the King before I'm finished with this playthrough, but... Don't know if that's going to happen or not now. I mean, my street cred's taking a hell of a beating. All right, so on the bigger engine. We want the racing manifold. Carb is on. Bish, bash, bosh. Do up all of these screws. Don't want no rattling in our new car. Uh, part tune. You know what? I seemed a bit slower last time. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it at the premium. I think it's best for everyone. Uh, transmission. There we go. I, I I'll try not to granny shift this time. Cool. Let's get rid of those parts. Uh, big chief, and then go and get some pizza roll. I mean, you could argue that this game is the the forefathers of games like Need for Speed. It's something which I miss when it comes to more modern, casual racing games. Uh, the fact that. For instance, the crew was the last one I played. When you won a part or bought a part, it just automatically was put on your stats. You didn't actually have to get in there and replace it. Um, there was a game which I used to play on the Xbox 360. I forget what it's called now. Uh, but um, again, just the, the modifications to the body work and everything, you just had a whole plethora of different items you could choose and, and stylize the, the cars the way you wanted. And I miss games like that. Maybe they are out there. Maybe there is a modern one which I'm just unaware of. But... Um, it doesn't feel like they're as abundant as they once were. It's all for, now for ease of application as opposed to getting into the intricacies. And I know games like GTA have, have sort of arced onto that. Corvette. I mean, do I dare? No, you get out. You get out of here, sunshine. Come on now. Shift it. But um, yeah, it'd just be nice. Was it Juiced? Juiced rings a bell. Could be juiced. You know what? Road race. Pink slips. I want another car. Here we go. Throw it up. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, it's a good thing he's slow. Because I am out of there. Right, okay. So as long as I don't go off the road and the police don't stop me, I'm all good. I'm going to mix out in a second. There we go. Bring it down a bit. Oh, yeah, that screeching of the tyres. These are racing slicks. They shouldn't be screeching too much. But he is long gone. We won't be seeing him again, I don't think. Not unless something tragic happens, which I don't think it will now. Middle. This is actually one of the easier rows I've raced on. There's only two what I would class as obstacles, and that's the uh, the thinning of the road and the one blockade. I've had two or three blockades in the past, and it can be awkward if you can't remember where they are. 
but no, we're doing all right on this one. And I think we're there now. Boom. Nice, easy win. I've just won a hell of a car. All right, let's pull that one in. Now, I'm not too fussed by that one. It's pretty basic looking. Let's check the date. Saturday the 13th. We're getting through July quick. So let's try and sell that. Uh, sell it. I mean, how much do I want for it? It, it looks all right. I don't think it's anything too crazy. Let's try 1500. How about 1004? Uh, no. How about 1350? About 1150? No. How about 13? Oh no, he's not going to offer that. 113 is not good. How about 13? No thanks? Alright, let's try 1280. Hey, off he goes, 1280. I'll bring my money maker back out. How's it looking? Yeah, it's looking alright. I think we can go straight back out. Let's see if we can get a, a more unique looking car again. Who we got? Oh, I'm, I really am not interested by the Cor Corvette. Unless it's the king in the Corvette. I'm not interested. Bring on the king. Send him over. There he is. <gasps> Can we race him? I don't got time for amateurs like you. As I said, you've got to, uh, you've got to win a lot more races in order, in order to face the king. But hey, he showed his face. He knows I'm alive. He knows me. He knows me. Right. So <laughs> let's make this our last one. Uh, road race, pink slips. Let's hope it doesn't end terribly. Left him in the dust again. Jeez. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. I mean, as I said, I always thought having a bigger engine was, was, the, um, was the way to do it. So there are ones out there which could beat me. At least I, that's what I, I would presume. I mean, I presume the king would be a, a hard race. Guess I'll find out at some point. But yeah, it looks like we're plain sailing all the way back. Oh, 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 oh. But it's just, it's just feathering that accelerator you got to get used to. It can be difficult if it happens whilst you're around the corner. But generally speaking, if, as long as you slow down a little bit for corners, or at le very least take your foot off the accelerator, you don't tend to max it out. So I'm, a lot of concentration here. <laughs> Boom. Another car for us. Awesome. Another hell of a car. And there it is. I mean, it's it's the older style Corvette. Let's do it up very quickly. So I think, you know, it's, it's something a bit more classy, a bit more rounded. Doesn't look as sort of sporty as the others and i think that would, would pay to you know play to my advantage overall um, i have no idea what sort of engine a corvette takes oh my god come on with the wheels all right what is it oh it's another gm of course it is this episode of patch place is sponsored by gm Where is it? Racing. Uh, one of those. Uh, oh no, I've done that. I've done that. Let's just do this quickly. See what it's going to look like all pimped up. And then we'll leave the episode here. So yes, Street Wad. One which is very close to my heart. Uh, as I said, it is freeware. There is, or there will be, uh, the... The download link down below if you do want to go and pick it up uh, i'd also recommend grabbing street rod 2 one which i will probably end up bringing to the channel later on at some point uh, i don't think i'd do street rod special edition but if like me you have played the original street rod 2 death and you just want to mix up in the cars it might be worth you checking out again for free so cannot moan and uh well there is if i'm going to be all sort of uh carte blanche with you here there is actually a Street Wad 3. It's a demo 
I don't think it ever came to fruition, but if you look on the old interwebs, it is out there for you to uh, have a peruse. Now, I, I think I might have it in a folder somewhere hidden away, but I've never actually played it, so uh, uh, I might see if I can fish it out and again bring it to the channel at some point. But there we go. Oh, let's give it, let's give it some, let's give it a nice colour. It's got to be red, hasn't it? It's got to be red. There we go. Boom. So there you go. Street Rod by PZK Development and published by California Dreams all the way back in 1989. I implore you, if you've got the time and inclination, to get out there, download it, and give it a go. Uh, you will need DOSBox. Again, I will put a link down below for that, uh, the latest version. And if you do need any help setting up DOSBox, to be able to play this give me a shout and I'll, I'll let you know how to do it down in the comments below but for now thank you for watching as always a like is appreciated and i'll catch you on the next one take it easy